Now, according to the question, uh, it says an automatic gate is open for a lorry if the weight sensor indicates less than five tons or CCTV indicates there is a passenger at the passenger seat. But it is a must to have less than five meter distance between lorry and the gate to get to open it, which sense by a proximity sensor, all right? So in this case, as we discussed earlier in the last week, we have to clarify what are the inputs and outputs. So it is very easy for us to uh, generate the expression and uh, then after draw the logic circuit, All right? So let's see how we are going to go through this. So first I'm going to write about the inputs. Right, so what are the inputs that are going to be? The first input is going to be the weight sensor. Let me indicate it by W, right? And the second indicator is the CCTV feedback or the CCTV input. Uh, yeah, for your convenient, I'll, I'll make this A and I'll make this B, right? Then as the third input, most of, uh, like some of you who has sent me the answers has missed the proximity sensor, right? So proximity sensor is also a sensor which controls the output. So the output is going to be it's the gate where I'm going to indicate it by G, right? So we clarify the inputs and outputs and we have to declare what are the states of these things. And the next thing is to identify the states. So uh, even though I have uh, like, explain you like step by step when we are like doing the question, I can straight away go to the states on this particular place, right? So I'm going to go for the states. So when weight sensor is less than ton five, five tons, it says it indicates one, that means it indicates A. So like, more than five tons means uh, actually uh, more it's, it's better you say not less than five tons otherwise uh, equal to five tons will not be uh, reflect over here like if you say more than five tons it indicates like something bigger than five less than five tons indicates something less than five so more than five tons will not indicate equals to five tons. So it's better you say not less than five tons should be indicated by a zero. So that means we can indicate it by A bar, right? The two states that we talked about. So CCTV input, CCTV input considers whether a particular passenger is there on the passenger seat. Right, so passenger available it indicates by one, so I can indicate it by B. Passenger is not available, indicate by a zero, so we can indicate it by B bar. And the proximity sensor sends the distance in between the lorry and the gate, right? So distance, now that's, that's a tricky point. It says 
the five meter distance between lorry and the gate indicates by zero, right? Less than five meter distance. So that means distance, I'll write the zero part, distance less than five meters indicated by a zero. So I can take this as C bar. Less than not, distance is not less than five meters. That could be indicated by one, which means C. And for gate, it is simple. If it is open, it indicate by one. So that means G. If it is closed, it indicate by zero. That means G bar. Okay, people, is this clarification is clear with you? Yes, people, is the clarification clears your mind? Right. Okay. So now it's the matter of writing a particular sentence which gives the uh, relationship in between inputs and outputs, or in simple terms, how input controls the output. Right? Ranuja, proximity sensor means uh, proximity sensor take care of the distance. Proximity sensor can karane langa dura bawa mine. Right? So we can use a proximity sensor to figure out whether some object is like uh, near to that particular sensor or not. We can give a particular range. It is uh, like we can set the range into one meter, two meter, three meters, likewise. Right? So if, if, uh, if a particular object comes into the range, proximity sensor will give a signal. There is an object within the range. If there is, uh, if, if the object is like out of the range, proximity sensor will not sense anything. Or then that, that means it, it is not uh, providing you any signal. Got it, Ranuja? Right. Okay, so how we are going to write the uh, relationship? So we can describe the relationship like this. Gate is opening. When? Weight is less than five tons, or that is how the uh, explanation is given, or passenger is available. And distance less than five meters. So, in this scenario, you have to figure out that the distance will always matter to open the gate with either of the above conditions. Above conditions means either the weight should be less than five tons or passenger should be on the seat, right? So with that, we can minimize this uh, particular sentence into an equation. So gate is opening. So we can indicate this by G. Weight is less than five tons. So it indicates by A. 
passenger is available. That indicates by B. Distance less than five meters. That indicates by the C bar. That is where you have to care for it, right? Because the scenario explains it clearly, right? So it says, weight sensor indicates less than five tons. CCTV indicates there is a passenger and uh, at the passenger seat and less than five meter distance between lorry and the gate. So then only the gate is open, right? So that is the points that we have derived from that explanation. So now we can minimize this uh, big sentence into an equation. Like we can say G equals A O B and C bar. Now here, if you keep it like this, your answer is going to be a wrong one because as we talked about, as we, as we talked, the distance should always happen in the distance uh, scenario should always happen. It should, it should have the distance in between lorry and the gate within the five meter range, right? And with that, either of the A and B should, should, should happen. So A O B must be inside the brackets. Right? If you have missed the brackets, your scenario or your circuit is going to be a different one. Right? I think we have discussed this about uh, regarding your uh, uh, the textbook questions as well. Right? So, according to this, we can write the equation like G equals A plus B dot C bar. That is going to be your answer for the first part, which is for the expression. And once you know the expression, it is very easy for you to draw the circuit, right? It's just a three input circuit, which has a plus and a dot and a bar, right? And you know how to do that. If I illustrate it to you, so, you can have A, B, and C inputs. So first I can give the priority to the brackets. So I'm going to end up with this O gate, which will provide me A plus B. Then I'm going to take C and put an not gate, which gives you C bar. Then those outputs will be sent inside to a AND gate which will give me a plus b dot c bar. Okay, is that clear, people? And who got this correctly? Right, if you got the answer correctly, you can mark it. Right, so this is the circuit. and you have the expression. Okay, I'll give, I'll give you two, three minutes to uh, make any corrections if you have any, right? So then after I'm going to give you another question, something similar like this, right? And if you got this correctly, please mark it. Take a red pen and put a very nice correction mark. And if you've got any questions, you can ask me. We are going to the next question after two minutes. Yeah, this are the, no problem. That is correct, Buddha. C bar dot. A plus B within brackets, perfectly correct. No problem.
uh dilmi i think you are asking about like uh, c dash dot a plus b that is what you are asking right instead of the bar we can use dash yeah no worries though no problem c dash dot a plus b yes you can o c bar dot a plus b no problem right is there anyone still copying this All right, so let's move to the second question. Dihan, oh, Dihan, put a quarter of the clear Karagano, I can Andina be the other. Circuit taking Benade Kela put a honey, Andina be the other net Mokak Ganada Mehemai Dihan Circuit take a car retamai make an input sticker Haria caro hambuno gate take a rinaker. Right then, okay, practical scenario a capacity hill a bell work. Neither Mango got a practical scenario can come and the lapin work. Right. Right, this is the gate. Right, the gate uh, gate the control when the method in Arinavahana, Kala leave a key in Yotin, the method to Samahar Lada, body motor a connector Latino, a motor a key in the la, why a cacano, a circuit board decorator. Eka a pit a pain in a hand, gate take a Samahar Lada, gate take a fixed color theater. Uh, by a catule, a uh, metapola with the gear again, you know. Right, Kotanakoho Tanaka Miname circuit take a theo. Right, Ilangata may get take a control when you go mother. Mankuan is a catanaka CCTV, you know. Bitmuk make a CCTV, a gear, it in a CCTV. The CCTV a king in a input take a Araganagi hill, a CCTV a catadal. Input take a signal like a humbin with the connect color theorem. Can mean circuit board decay? B were to input take a humbin a connect color theorem. Right? Ilan got a weight sense a cactinone, weight sense a cat a cotter lorry acre, may have a villa method a place when a cotter. Oh, sorry. Right, Loria come here. I will place when a quarter. Right, wait sense acre. Follow a yatan at Tang Egolangi Mokakari special can somehow let a part of a fixed color the end of Puluang. Comari wait sense acre. In Loria Barra sense Karagan Puluang when a video connect to Latino. AK hardware mechanism make again about a look who they are quite again with the hack name of the money hardware mechanism again look what the net in is a common may sense again sense when a day may I able to input can return into my theater maker on a ton part of a did that to the kid right in a got a proximity sensor at the gate ticket and a car connect color the end of blue right Eka chuti sense eka, right? Abhi tamu ko eka gate ke mitha na mada sense kala thi na kela, mada podi gadget ka khai kala thi na. Eke line ne ka toho mai villa, pola vadi ke kila mitha ante input ke deno. Tere me kaha part sense eka sense karna dura koho mada, right? Ito tar five meters atula tar na kang gate ke arin na. After to the CCTV king capture Karno, passenger can a key no other net taking a catadal signal like a deno Ilangat weight sensor a king ton pahata add to the wedding the killer color part signal like a deno Retundana Gia Maharividi Hitter 
ඒ තුන්දෙනා හරි විදිහට යනවා කියලා කියන්නේ මේකේ අවුට්පුට් එක එක වෙනවා රයිට් මේකේ අවුට්පුට් එක එක වෙච්ච ගමන් එක කියන සිග්නල් එක මේ ලයින් එක දිගේ ඇවිල්ලා මේ මෝටර් එකට හම්බ වෙනවා හම්බ වෙච්ච ගමන් මෙයා ගේට් එක ඇරලා රයිට් ඕකේ ඔක තමයි සාමාන්‍යයෙන් සිද්ධ වෙන ක්‍රියාවලිය දැන් මේ අපි ප්ලෑන් කරන අපේ සර්කිට් එක බොහෝම චූටි චිප් එකක් වෙන්න පුළුවන් රයිට් දැට්ස් හව් ඉට්ස් වර්ක් ඕකේ right so here comes the second question yeah this is the second question so i give you 10 minutes to complete this it's 6:13 write down the question to your book and then complete it so time include the copy in part as well so 613 by 623 i'm going to discuss the question right so if you do it before that you can take a picture and send it to me right okay give it a try
ध्यान बाकल्ड मींस ये तो सीट बेल्ट का बाकल करना के लिए आप क्या नहीं लॉक करा करना क्या नहीं का राइट Right, Vinadi, I received an answer. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. mm. uh, there is a slight mistake. Uh, yeah, Binadi, just, uh, I think you have, uh, yeah, I think you have missed the uh, state of the door. Just go through it again. A slight mistake, only a slight mistake. Yeah, now who is this? Ranima, yes, this is correct though. Very good. Right. How about others? Can we discuss the uh, Inopama? Uh, there is a slight mistake. Go through the status. Go through the status. Eka state teka miss velatiya. Yeah, people, can we discuss? Does anyone need any more time? Ah, okay, okay, Rusira Ranuja, I'll give you two more minutes, right? So after that, I'm going to do it. Uh, Tisat, you have taken all the states correctly, but the brackets has changed your answer. Right? Inupama, it's okay, Dua, is it? is not the problem, it's it's the expression. So you, like what are the, uh, what are the A, B and C do? Daddy, is that you? Eh, it smells bad. Yeah. So do a. Daddy, there must be a power cut. Okay. The power cuts has gone to the house. Uh, it's gone to the house. 
Yeah, Inupama, go through the state of the dough. I think you have messed up with the state of the dough. Yeah. Now, uh, who is here? Uh, Tis, uh, Tisat, I told you the problem. Uh, Risara, uh, now, yeah, can you illustrate what is A, B, and C? And uh, yes, Dilni, what you have done is correct the illustration of the uh, variables, but the way you have put the brackets has changed the answer. So like, uh, think about the practical scenario here. Yeah, Risara, it's the same thing uh, with you, Buddha. Uh, not the same thing, Prisara. Uh, uh, you haven't uh, take the driver's door, the state of the driver's door correctly. Just go through it and see. And I have received some answers from the WhatsApp as well. Let me see. Methula. Okay. Yeah, and again, Methula. Uh, yes, yes. Now, Methula, uh, uh, you have considered the not buckled situation as A. That means one. But here in the question, I have said not buckle situation is the zero, zero state, has the zero state. It is the place where that change your answer. Risara, now that's correct. Dilni, now that's the correct answer. Well done. And uh, who is this? This is Binadi, yeah. Let me see. I has been added. Now it is correct. Very good. Very good. And this is Ranuja. Let me see. Okay. Yeah. Now Ranuja. Uh, Ranuja, uh, the expression that you have written is. Yeah, there is a problem with that, Buddha. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll do the uh, diagramming part now, so you people can uh, watch how the things are going on. So it's good you are trying, right? And uh, try to understand the places that you are going wrong, right? So that is the uh, thing that you need to do, right? That's all. Anjana, uh, if the B indicates the door, Think about the state of the door. Then keep the neck Right? Yeah, let me take the uh, question first. Yeah, 
Rosira, that's the answer. Yeah, Anjana, yes, yes, that's the answer. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, Rosira, Rosira, there is a problem. There is a, 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 hold on, hold on. You have taken A as the engine, right? Yeah, and then in, in, in that scenario, that is, that is correct. Yes. Yeah. So let's talk this through, right? So let's see what are the inputs and what are the outputs of this situation. So inputs. Right, now input C is given by what? So the scenario says there is a alarm which is going to be bust. If the door is open, the driver's door is open or the uh, seat belt is not buckled, then while the engine is on, right? So all the previous scenarios, like either you are not buckling the seat belt or you are not closing the door those scenarios can happen when the engine is on. So then the alarm is going to buzz, right? So practically it is the place where we are going to face with a uh, problem or uh, where we need an alarm signal that we are doing something wrong, right? So the inputs are going to be uh, controlled or like the, uh, I'm sorry, inputs are going to given by the engine Right, so let's take it as A. And then, uh, yeah, seat belt. I'll take it as B and the door. I'll take it as C. So what are the states? Doesn't matter, Dihan. Doesn't matter. You can change the uh, order of the uh, letters. It doesn't matter. You can use any type of letter to this X, Y, Z, P, Q, R, A, B, C. Doesn't matter. And also, you like you can take um, engine as B, seat belt as A, door as C, or you can mix it up. It doesn't matter. But when the expression is written, if the engine is going to be on some place the relevant letter is going to be there. The maga engine ne A ne, ogolo engine ne karagin ne tiyene C ke alana, maga A apura tiyene thayna ogolang ke C apura tiyene no. Right, so that is what you have to follow. Right, so for engine, I can have two states, which is like on and off. So on indicates by one, so I'll take it as A off indicates by zero, I'm taking it as A bar. Seat belt, I can take buckled and not buckled. So buckled indicates by, not buckled indicates by zero, that says by the scenario. So that means B bar. Buckled indicates by one, so it indicates by B. And safety door, I can take the driver's door, which is close and open. In this scenario, open indicates by zero. So this is going to be C bar. So close indicates by one, that is going to be C. Right, so the output, That's going to be the alarm, right? So it has two states, which is buzzing and not buzzing. So let's take uh, alarm as, oh, we can't take alarm as A. We have to say something else. I'm taking all alarm as F. So buzzing will indicate F because buzzing indicates one, not buzzing indicates F bar. 
yeah, let me let me uh, write it with ones and zeros as well. Busing indicates one, so that means F. Not busing indicates zero, that means F bar. Okay, people, is the status, uh, are, you, are you clear with the status? The different kinds of states that the uh, variables can take? Yes, everyone? Okay. All right. Now, the sentence which illustrates what is the uh, relationship in between inputs and outputs, right? So how it's going to be? We can say the alarm is buzzed The alarm is burst when the engine is on and seat belt is not buckled or door is opened. Right, simple as that. So how we can match these things? The alarm is bust, so that is F. When the engine is on, that is A and the seat belt is not buckled, that is B bar. And door is opened, that is C bar. So we can minimize this into an equation by saying F equals A and B bar O C bar. And according to this scenario, one of these should happen with A. So for that reason, B bar O C bar should be inside the brackets. And that doesn't mean in O, in, 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 in like the places that you are having O, always O must go with the brackets. That is according to the scenario, right? Because the place where we are going to use the brackets will change the nature of the expression entirely, right? So if you are not using the brackets in this equation, it's going to give you a different answer like we discussed in the last week, right? So now this can be written very easily. F equals, I'm sorry. F equals A dot B bar plus C bar, right? So that is going to be your answer. And if you are going to draw the circuit, it is pretty easy. So B and C first going to have the, they're not gates, and then they are going to go through an O gate. So the output is going to flow through an AND gate. So that is going to be the circuit. Okay, people, is that clear? And most of you either got it correct or like you were going almost correct, but the problem is 
some of like you have missed some of the things right so do the changes as necessary then we can go for the next one the very last one that we are going to discuss as the fourth lesson Yeah, it is perfectly correct in Upama. Uh, you can change the uh, B bar plus C bar. You can change the situation because you are taking A from here, Dua, and from here you are generating B bar plus C bar. So you can write it in two different methods. You can say A dot B bar plus C bar, or you can say B bar plus C bar dot A, right? Any of the things are going to be considered as a correct one. But I'll give you a minute to do the changes if it's really necessary. Then we are going to move to the next question. And meanwhile, if you've got any question regarding this, you can ask. Yeah, Dihan, so uh, C, is, C is the one which indicates the engine, right? A and B indicates the uh, seat belt and the, uh, the other one. Yeah, so it's correct, right? No problem. Right, you have a simple A in your equation. I think that is a printing mistake. So I think you all you need to have say like A capital A bar plus capital B bar, right? So no worries. Okay, is there anyone still uh, copying this thing? Chano Re, what you're asking is, uh, can we write the brackets in the front and engine and function? Yeah, yeah. Do I, you are you are asking about something like this, right? Isn't it Chano Re? Yeah. So it's perfectly correct, Dua. No problem. Uh, Methula, uh, let me check, let me check. So if, if it... Unbuckle, open, engine on. Yes, yes, yes. Now the states are correct. So you have to uh, create your circuit according to that, as I show it in, uh, in my answer, right? Now, ex expressing one is correct, right? Oh, so, so don't, don't take it under your eyes. Well, if you hurt. Right, so we are moving to the last question of the Gates lesson. It's blocked. And also, mine is blocked as well. And people, now, when you are trying the third one, let me tell you something. 
Now, third one is not something circuit related. It is a general scenario, which is a non-circuit related one. But again, that, that these kind of general scenarios can be mapped into a logic circuit. And you will be getting these kind of questions. So I have given you the uh, variables, uh, which is for degree and for diploma and the working experience and the English language skills, right? So consider those and try to come up with the answer, right? So again, I'm going to give you 10 minutes for this. 6.45 is the time. I'm going to talk about this by 6.55, right? So have the third question, write it onto your book and do the, uh, yeah. try it as much as, or like try it, give, give your best shot on it, right? So the third one, it's the last one. Harshana, session again, pass the hand of the monkey and now.
Yes, Rosira, that's the correct answer. Very good. And I have received some answers as well. Let me see. Yeah, yes, that is correct. Pranima, that's the correct answer. Very good. Bina D, I receive your answer. Let me see. Uh -uh. Dua, uh, you have missed one variable. Though. Now, here it, in, in the question, it clearly says about four different variables. So, you have to go with all four variables. Though. In your answer, one is missing. So, that needs to be worked out. And uh, yeah, time is up. People, uh, do you need any more time? In Upama, uh, you need to clarify what is A, B, C, and D. Uh, and again, I think uh, there is a problem in the equation as well. Uh, Anjana, uh, first bracket is correct. There is a problem with second bracket. Uh, Risara, same reason. Your first bracket is correct. You have to look into the second bracket. Tisa, same reason, right? Read carefully, read carefully. Now, you are there in, with the answer, but uh, not getting it uh, because you haven't read it carefully. Yeah, do you need more time or can we uh, discuss this? Anyone? Who needs time? Yes, Risara. Now that's the correct answer. Anjana, that's the correct answer. Yes. Okay, so let's go and. Uh, uh, no, Ranuja, no. That's not going to be a correct one, Buddha. Let's discuss this. Okay, so um, I'm copying this. Hold on. Yeah, Dilni, that's correct. Uh, who is this? Tisara? No. Tisat. Yeah, that is correct. Right, now the situation here is simple. You don't need to take this uh, as a very complex one. So it says to pass an interview, a candidate should have either a degree or a diploma and five year working experience with English language skills. Right now, if you think about the inputs here, the question, is also giving you some uh, help regarding the inputs by uh, indicating what are the uh, variables that you need to use. So degree is going to be a one input, which is indicated by D1 and diploma 
is going to be another input which indicates by D2. Then working experience. This indicates by E1 and English language skills. That's indicated by E2, right? So D1, D2, E1, E2. And what are the states of these things? So having and not having, right? Because it's, it's talking about candidates should have either of the things. So we can indicate the states like this. So have, which is one. So we can say it as D1. Do not have. which is a zero, we can indicate as D1 dash, right? So same goes here, have and do not have same values. So it's D2 and this is zero and D2 bar. Working experience, have and do not have this is one and this is zero so you can have e1 and e1 bar right and this is have and do not have so it is one which is e2 and zero, which indicates by E2 bar, right? So having the degree indicates one, do not have in the degree indicates D1 bar. Likewise, all the four components, if you got those, you can uh, have the natural state of the variable. If you do not have, you can have the complement state of the variable. So input, uh, the uh, output is going to be what? The, uh, the interview result, right? The output is going to be the interview results. So it can be taken as pass right and fail right so pass can be indicated by one so let's say i'm taking f to indicate that and fail is indicated by zero so i'm taking f bar right so that is the story of the inputs and outputs in this situation people is that clear everyone Yes, people, is it clear or not? Okay. Okay, and I'm, I'm always reminding you, if you got any problems, please ask, right? Okay, so once we are done with this, we only need to write the, our sentence, right? So what should be the sentence? So we can say interview is passed when degree O P 
here do it in another way is passed when How can I'm going to short that uh, interview is passed? Let's say with a degree. Uh, Binadi, uh, it's not the C plus D do it. With degree. O with diploma and working experience and English language skills. Right, so how we are going to tackle this? Interview is passed, so that means it is F. With degree, that means D1. O with diploma, that means D2. And working experience, that is E1. And English language skills, that is E2. So we are going to simplify this like F equals D1 O D2 and E1 and E2. Because uh, the expression explains this clearly or the question explains this clearly, right? So what is the question says? To pass an interview, a candidate should have either a degree or a diploma and five years working experience with English language skills. So five years of working experience and the English language skills are must. So with those two things, either a degree or a diploma will pass the interview. Right. So that is the learning point or the thinking point that you have to go through, right? So now this is a piece of cake. So this indicates D1 plus D2 and people, you need a bracket because either of these two is going to be your qualification and dot E1 and dot E2. So F equals like this. So with this, your equation, your circuit is going to be, there will be a D1, there will be a D2, there will be a E1, and there will be a E2, right? So D1 and D2 is going to go through an O gate. Then after with the output of that, E1, E2, everything can be sent through an end gate, right? Or else you can draw this in this manner as well, where some of you have drawn like that. D1, D2 is going through an O gate, and E1, E2 is going through an end gate then later those outputs are going through an end gate, right? So that is also a correct one. Okay, people, is this clear? Do you got any questions regarding this? Right, great. And Gavindu, are you stating you are not clear with or 
or else you are not having any questions. It's clear, right? Okay, great. All right, so now people who have got this wrong or got any mistakes, it's time for you to make things correct. Um, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Uh, Chanuri, uh, it doesn't matter that you put a bracket to these two places, right? And again, it will do no harm to your expression because these three terms are separated by a dot. So like uh, brackets will not do any changes to your expression, like with or without brackets, the expressions gives you the same value, right? So having the brackets is not an incorrect one. It's perfectly okay to have the brackets, right? Right, great. Okay, so uh, yeah, Risara with with means and yeah, that's a good question that you are asking. With something means you should have it always no. So this one with this one. So with indicates and either kind of things indicates or. Right, so you should get used to this jargon. Right, okay. Right, so is there anyone who is copying this onto your books? If not, I can quickly show you the next lesson, which is the Excel. Anyone who is copying the things? Great. So let's move to the uh, Excel lesson. Just we, just we just sneak into that, right? So I'm just taking a start so we can uh, uh, do the practicals by next week, right? So people, now when it comes to the spreadsheets, I'm sorry, I think I have uh, opened the incorrect one. It's the grade 10, I need. Yeah. Now, I think you may remember uh, the things that we have done to the, uh, that we have done in the word processing software, which is, which is with BMS Word, right? So now we are going to learn about the electronic spreadsheet, right? So earlier we learned about the word processing softwares, right? So this is an electronic spreadsheet. So word processing softwares were there to do the documentation kind of things, like typing a letter, preparing an invitation, typing a book, preparing an assignment, uh, like or typing a research kind of things, or making a paper article kind of things. Right, so those are word processing. We take the words and we process the words. We give the colors, we uh, do the changes to the words and we process those words according to our need. That is why word processing softwares are there like MS Word. And when it comes to the electronic spreadsheets, this is majorly focused on the calculation parts, like majorly on the accounting and analyzing aspects, right? So spreadsheet is specially made to do the analyzing and the calculation, calculation kind of things, right? So that is kind of things that you are going to learn with the spreadsheets, right? So uh, please have the uh, heading electronic spreadsheets. So it's the seventh unit of yours, right? And uh, I'll walk you through a very small part of this lesson, right? Then you can uh, finish up the things at home, the uh, writing part. So we will be able to uh, 
start the things by next week as a practical, right? So please stay for another five minutes, only five minutes, right? So I'll walk you through this. So as I told you in the introduction, they are talking about the calculation patterns that, that the man has uh, used. Right, so earlier in, in very early stage, they used fingers, then they used the devices like Abacus, which is a very ancient one, but it was the place where uh, like they, they, they consider uh, Abacus as the very first device that, they, that a man has used to uh, do their calculation. And even still, uh, still on these days, these Chinese and Japanese people use this Abacus very heavily because they are very like, uh, most of them are ba based on this uh, abacus device to do the uh, calculation, the simple ones, right? So later uh, with the uh, electronics emerge, they uh, converted into the calculators and all these machinery parts. Then after with the computer, they have developed a particular software which can perform the calculations. So from that point onwards, we are meeting with software types which we call the electronic spreadsheets right so i want to i, I ask you to uh, uh, write the uh, heading then uh, uh, at home people you need to uh, copy this this particular uh, paragraph onto your book right which uh, describes what is a spreadsheet uh, in, in simple terms, right? Uh, that is in the page number 190. So please uh, have that in your mind or please note it down. You have to copy the things uh, at the bottom of the 190 page, right? So the main heading, then under it, this particular passage. Right, these two lines. And then after, you have to uh, copy these usage, right? So this illustrates what are the things that we can do through a spreadsheet. So we can use it to do the simple and complex calculations and you will see how those things are happening. And presentation of data in charts. Now, uh, this presentation of data in charts as well as this uh, uh, showing the data ascended and descending order and segregate uh, on uh, not the segregating part, the sorting, uh, the sorting part, the, the chart presentation and the sorting part is also capable with the MS Word. But when you are going to do that, you always refer to an Excel sheet, right? So it is basically the Excel or the spreadsheet task to be done. So you will see how these things can be done uh, very easily because we are going to write the uh, simple and complex calculations uh, in this on the spreadsheets and the, we are going to develop the charts we are going to uh, uh, see how the things can be sorted uh, on a particular uh, spreadsheet right and segregate uh, the uh, the required data it's kind of a filtering right you can filter the things that you want and in, in, in spreadsheet, there are very advanced filtering methods, right? And you can check the validity of data, whether this is a valid data which is being inserted into an Excel sheet, right? Uh, and um, the rest of the things are like the common things, protection of data using the password, all the uh, uh, office package enables the protection and saving it for future use. So that is why we use the computer and the software, right? So you have to uh, copy this onto your book, right? Before we meet on next week. So let me remind you again, the latter part of the 190th page and this part from the 191 plus uh, after this particular uh, pointings, right? You have to have this uh, heading and please copy the table. Right, so the table illustrates what are the different kinds of spreadsheets that we can use. So Excel is the one that we are going to practice, which is given by the Microsoft Corporation, which is a licensed software. That means we have to pay and purchase, right? 
and numbers that belongs to the Apple Corporation, right? And it's it's only resides with the uh, Apple devices, not with the other devices, right? And LibreOffice Calc and the OpenOffice Calc, those are free and open source softwares. So anyone can use that without any permission, right? Those are free to use. We don't need to pay uh, to uh, have these softwares in our computer, uh, but, uh, uh, like, like comparing to the Excel and numbers, these are a little bit less user friendly, but nowadays they are trying their best to match the requirements of the Excel and the numbers, right? Right. So most probably very soon, uh, open source softwares will penetrate the industry. That is the uh, projection and the prediction of the companies. So they are changing their strategies to compete with them as well, right? Okay, so with that, uh, I can uh, end the session uh, by briefing the uh, spreadsheet. So please don't forget what you have to write, the latter part of the 190th page, this, particular, this small paragraph, then these points plus this table, right? So have those in your book and prepare for the Excel practicals that we are going to start from next week, right? Okay, people, I think you have marked the things very well. And even if you forget, you can refer the uh, video from the website, then you will go through the things, what you need to be written, right? Okay, so I'll see you on next week for the very same time, right? And till that, stay safe and have a good night. Right, thank you very much, people. Right, okay, everyone, thank you very much. Thank you very much, good night. Ah, yes, Harshan, I'll give you an answer. Just wait a little.